machine. Isn't that a dilly? You know how to run it? Oh, sure. It's simple. The booklet says even a child could operate it. Let's see. First, thread the bobbin. <laughs> Do you have any idea what a bobbin looks like? <laughs> I better turn it out. Maybe I can tell that way. Oh, oh, that must be it. It's bobbing up and down. <laughs> hey, Lucy, huh? Look at this chart. That's not the bobbin at all. Ethel, will you go home? Why? Well, I, I want to make this dress all by myself, and I want to surprise you. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Okay, come back in a couple of hours. All right. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip. I did. America's funny little redhead Lucille Ball from back in the day. If you're looking for that specific episode, it's called Lucy's Trying to Buy Furniture. And it should be out there. I don't know. You probably have to pay for it. But I just thought that clip was appropriate for today, National Sewing Machine Day. Welcome to my channel, So Lovely with Grace. If you're new here, I'm Grace. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today, like I said, is National Sewing Machine Day, celebrated on June 13th every year. And in this video, I'm going to give you a brief history of the sewing machine, and then I'm going to talk about my machines, the ones I have here, and give you a little brief tour of each one of those. And finally, I'm going to show you and model this top that I'm wearing, which is Simplicity 8. 593 a vintage pattern and I will be modeling this one that she's wearing this black top that she has on with the band here and the small peplum ruffle at the bottom and I'll be showing you that after I give you my sewing machine tour and this fabric that I got at Joann's it's a vintage charmeuse that I got it's a floral that it was about a year ago last summer so let's begin. So the information about today I got from a website called nationaldaycalendar.com and they know every single day a national day of celebration whereas today June 13th is National Sewing Machine Day. So I got this information from their site. It's a little tiny paragraph here I want to read to you. Each year on June 13th National Sewing Machine Day honors an invention that has kept us in stitches for over 150 years. Before the sewing machine, tailors and sewists created clothing by hand, stitch by single stitch. The invention of the sewing machine brought about revolutionary change. Not only did it boost an entire industry, but it also changed the way we viewed the garments we wore. However, the development of the sewing machine took time. I'm going to read a few bullet points listing the inventors that contributed to the invention of the sewing machine, starting in 1790 with Thomas Saint. He designed a sewing machine and had his first patent in 1790. Then in 1874, William Newton Wilson found Saint's drawing in the London Patent Office and built a working model. Then in 1832, Walter Hunt invented the first American lock stitch sewing machine. And then in 1842, John Greeno patented the first sewing machine in the United States. And finally, in 1851, another inventor, Isaac Singer, developed the sewing machine model that would endure to today. So that's just a brief history. And now I want to give you a tour and show you each one of my machines that I have here in my sewing studio that I use every day to bring you my creations. The first machine I want to show you is my main sewing machine. It's called the Baby Lock Aria. It comes with this beautiful inspirational guide. This is a binder that has all the, just like a user's manual, that comes with Baby Lock with all their machines. It's so beautiful and colorful. Look, that's my machine there. I'll show it to you in a second. But I want to show you this guide. The pages in here are nice heavy bound 
card card stock, full color, has all the information about it, setup, users, instructions, has all the stitches in here, presser feet, you know, basically what you have in your manual. It's in this inspirational guide. And I love it. It's just I like the full color. And uh that was a selling point with me when I bought Baby Lock. So let me show you my machine. This is my Baby Lock Aria. Put the lid down here. And she was at the sewing studio a couple days ago because I got some a needle got trapped underneath. I couldn't get to it and the whole machine was vibrating violently, so I had to turn it off. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this on now for you to see. I love that sound. But it has a beautiful screen here on the right. And what I do is changes. I have my little poker here. And uh, just poke it. Totally computerized. I make my selections of stitches. So it has utility stitch character stitches, all these decorative stitches. I'm not going to go through all. There's a lot of features in this machine. You can save to a USB. You can import files. It's totally computerized. It has an automatic threader. Um, all the basics of cutting thread. Presser foot up and down, needle up and down, reverse stitch, start stop. It's a beautiful machine. It comes with a bunch of feet. I have another in the drawer back in my cabinet I have more feet so these are just the basic ones I use so that is the baby lock aria as you can see the aria is a great machine the one I had before that was the it symphony right here I still have the inspirational guide because I traded in my symphony for the aria but they didn't want the inspirational guide so I kept it because it's such a treasure it's just so beautiful and, uh, you know, I kept it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But if you know anybody that has a symphony, it's a great machine. That's another one. It's totally a quilting sewing machine. Just like the Aria, but the Aria had more features. And the next machine I want to show you is my embroidery machine. This is the inspirational guide for the Baby Lock Spirit. It's solely an embroidery machine. And... This is the beautiful guide that comes with it. And look at that. Look at this, the way they have it photographed and lighting. I absolutely love it. And uh, I just wanted to show you, I have these inspiration guides. And just, they're so colorful, high quality cardstock. And uh, I do use them all the time. I go through these a lot if I need to refer to Look at this, starting to embroider. How beautiful is that? So let me show you that machine. This is my Baby Lock embroidery machine. It's not a convert from sewing to embroidery. It's just embroidery. It has this big arm. Uh, it takes up to, I believe, eight by 12 hoops and as small as a four by four. Um, my whole world changed when I got this embroidery machine. I got this embroidery machine in 2012 and literally my creativity skyrocketed after I got this machine. So I'm going to turn on the uh, screen here. It's a little like a little slideshow about the features of this machine. So let's go through that. I absolutely love this machine. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Okay, your creativity begins. Master large designs. Look at her. Very nice. Smart sensor. It has a smart sensor. So you can embroider all these designs here. Fonts. Stunning embroidery fonts. You can embroider on a scarf, on garments, bags. Put every work in the spotlight with stadium lighting. Yeah, there's a lot of great lighting with this machine. And it's the Baby Lock Spirit. So yeah, I really like this machine. And when you turn it on, it sets the arm. 
love that sound. <laughs> and uh, so you go in here and you have all kinds of built-in things. They have a lot of fonts here. They also have a lot of designs that come with the machine. I'm not going to go through all those, but just to show you, this is a great machine and I don't foresee trading it in anytime soon. And the next machine I'm going to show you is another baby lock. It's my serger. It's the inspirational guide for the enlightened serger. Isn't that beautiful? Again, another guide, soup to nuts about your machine. I love the photography in this book. It's just so beautiful and goes into every detail about your machine. And it's just beautiful, colorful. It's great to look at. I didn't show you a table of contents in the other ones, but each one of them has the same format, table of contents. And then it goes into all the parts on your serger here. And they do that with the sewing machine and the embroidery machine. And it's just a great guide. You know, all the serger techniques, gives you the settings for the serger, how to set up your machine. So depending on what kind of stitch you want, it'll tell you exactly, exactly how to set it up. So if, how to attach it with elastic and so on. So again, another inspiration guide from Baby Lock and my serger is the Enlightened. And this is the Enlightened serger. This is the inside here. It has air threading, which is a great feature for this uh, Baby Lock. Makes threading so much easier. Let me turn this on. It has nice lighting. It's a four cone thread serger. Some of them have eight cones you could get, but this one's a four cone. And I'm very happy with it. And uh, I'm real excited about it. This is my Baby Lock cover stitch machine, which I need to use more often. And it doesn't really work out very well for me. I'm trying to perfect the stitches on it. I just haven't had time to sit down and just go for it. But it's a great machine. It doesn't come with an inspirational guide. It does have a user's manual and I need to tackle that. But that's the cover stitch machine with four cones for that. And my last machine I call my little brother. It's a brother. And I use this machine as a backup or when I go to classes I don't want to lug around my big area baby lock so I'll bring this brother with me. It has a little sliding table here which is great for sewing and uh, I'll turn this one on for you. It has a little lighting, a little modest lighting but it's perfect for travel. It's perfect for if I need to do something in a hurry and I don't want to you know bring her you know turn on my big area so that's my last machine it's another windy day today so I'm in here in the courtyard again okay so the way this shirt works is it has a tie from the back to the front so when you're here's here's the tie right here, here at my waist it comes from the back then you cover it up and then you have this band here and you tie that into a bow in the back. And I'm wearing these high-waisted shorts with these, uh, I don't know if you can see, let's see, these chunky square toe braided sandals. They're about one and a half, two inches high. Very comfortable, very stylish. They look good for going out, which you can wear shorts, you can wear capris, and uh, you know, it's just like a vintage top with a modern twist. And this V-neckline, I just tacked this down the collar because it just stuck out and I didn't like it that way. So I just tacked it down. And, you know, there's coverage here. You don't have to worry about seeing your bra or anything. It's, it's pretty covered up. And I think it works out as an outfit. What I like about this fabric, it's flowy. It's cool, and you can wear it with jeans, a shirt, a skirt. It's very versatile, like all the other fashions I've been making lately, it seems. But I really like this top. Vintage, unique, and I like unique fashions. So I highly recommend it.
it's one piece when you iron it so it's easy and to wash it I wash it by hand and uh, it just comes out great it's unique it has like this little ruffle peplum with the band and the bow in the back makes it really you know girly so simplicity 8593 1940s vintage pattern is a great pattern and I did a size medium and it has a lot of ease and the way you tie it so if you go any size you pick you can't go wrong but it was an easy pattern came together quick great fabric great pattern I love the design I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it and I highly recommend it so that's it for my National Sewing Machine Day video. What are you going to do today to celebrate? Make something special? Give somebody a pattern? Share your notions? Try to inspire a young person to sew? There's lots of things you can do to celebrate. Or just gaze at your machines and your patterns in your sewing room and just breathe that you're blessed that you like to sew and you can sew. That's what I'm going to do today. So, thank you for watching this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. And most of all, I hope you were so inspired.